Hello everyone, I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with Joe Foster. Now Joe is the CEO of Close the Loop. Close the Loop is the first company to list on the ASX that provides full circular economy solutions. That's from design, manufacture, collection and reuse or recycling. Here at Calkine, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock market and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. Welcome to the show, Joe. Thank you very much, uh, Rachel. Good to speak with you today. Now, you. Close the Loop is one of over 150 companies to IPO on the ASX this year, but it's one of only a handful of ASX companies in the sustainable packaging space. Now, you did raise $12 million at 20 cents per share and closed 50% higher on your first day. So how right. was the IPO experience for Close the Loop? Oh, very exciting, Rachel. Thank you very much. Uh, certainly the first few days, uh, showed a lot of progress, uh, a lot of interest in our business. Um, the nice thing about it is that people really want to engage with Close the Loop Group because we do offer the full end-to-end -end solution within the circular economy. And the nice thing about it is that really, it's uh, the, the message we're putting out there is really about merging two individual companies together. One is Close the Loop and the other one is OF Packaging, uh, which really then allows us to be fully integrated within the circular economy. Now, where do you intend for the funds to be utilised? Yes, in fact, uh, what we've already done since we raised the funds last week is that uh, we purchased a, a company, a specialised packaging company within the seafood industry that actually happened uh, within the last few days. These, this company specialised within the seafood side of it uh, based in North Queensland. And uh, that's number one. Number two is that we are looking at setting up a, a dedicated washing and separating facility to concentrate particularly on e-waste and we see a great opportunity here in Australia to actually uh, separate uh, metals and plastics from e-waste, uh, break it down and then supply that plastic back to the OEMs, which is really the original equipment manufacturers, which will allow them to turn this plastic back into cartridges or back into mainstream electronic products again. Sounds fascinating. Now, yes, you mentioned their sustainable packaging company, OF Packaging. What can you tell our viewers about OF and their relationship with Close the Loop? Yes, in fact, OF Packaging engaged with Close the Loop quite some time ago, looking to try and find a solution within the circular economy. As you may know, Rachel, in Australia currently, there's not really an option for curbside recycling of soft plastics. Uh, OF Packaging have been very innovative in the way they've found solutions to actually get soft plastic, soft flexible packaging pa plastic material into a curbside recycling option. Working alongside with Close the Loop, we're looking to try and find what we believe is really the holy grail of packaging to packaging, which will allow us to try and get packaging back into the circular economy again. And obviously now people do have a greater awareness of the environmental damage caused by landfill waste. How does this growth in awareness help Close the Loop? Well, I think it helps us quite a lot because, first of all, we uh, were, were pretty much involved in industry, educating industry to try and uh, try and get the consumer to understand what solutions are out there. You're probably aware the, the targets that have been set by the Australian government, certainly in line with APCO, that all packaging must be recyclable, reusable or compostable by 2025. And in fact, uh, all packaging should be actually containing over 50% recycled content. So we're saying that as a group, Closed Loop Group, uh, which is the two companies, we believe that we can be a pretty strong mouthpiece in the marketplace and try and drive that change forward. I think change has got to be driven by industries and companies like ourselves, rather than waiting for the actual industry to change. We want to actually try and drive the change from our side, Rachel. And Joe, would you be able to tell us a little bit more about the acquisition of the Queensland-based seafood packaging group, Oceanic Agencies? What can you tell me about the importance of that acquisition? Uh, well, thank you, Rachel. Yes, we actually identified this company about six or seven months ago. We thought that this business would fit right into the existing OF packaging business. OF packaging supplies uh, soft, flexible packaging to a number of, of markets in, in Australia and around the world, in fact. And seafood packaging is, is our number two or number three market, not just here in Australia, but around the world. So we see this strategic alliance between Oceanic Agency and, and OF, OF packaging, which will allow us to actually deliver a bigger, uh, a, a bigger arrangement of packaging to the specialized seafood industry. 
OSHA and the agency have actually been specialising in that area for quite some time, particularly with with uh, local uh, aquaculture seafood products, which is very uh, prominent in North Queensland. It definitely sounds like a very good marriage you have there. Now, mm -hmm. lastly, Joe, what is a Close the Loop strategy going forward in the future? Well, Close the Loop is, um, is looking to try and expand their base in terms of working with what we believe is complex uh, consumable products. Close the Loop have got a very good interesting system in place whereby they've got over 260,000 collection sites, not just here in Australia, but in America and Europe. And we want to leverage against the existing infrastructure and work with our customers on specialized take back programs for difficult to recycle consumable products. Not just the flexible packaging materials that we make here at OF Packaging, but also look at looking at other products like cosmetics, glasses, mobile phone covers, power tools, e-waste and so forth. We want to become the leaders in that market where other, other companies are not willing to look at recycling these products. We actually want to take these challenges on and put them through our, our existing infrastructure and be really the leaders in that area. And as I said, we do see, we do see ourselves really as the most advanced uh, in this particular space here in Australia and particularly listed on the ASX. So it's been a great journey and it's very exciting to say the least, you know. And lots more to come, no doubt. Well, it's been great Absolutely. to chat with you today, Joe. Congratulations on your IPO and your recent acquisition. And with that, I will sign off. Thank you, Rachel, very much. Thank you very much. Watch Thank the you. space for more. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.